all of Lee Jong Suk's Korean dramas. Lee Jong Suk is undoubtedly one of the most iconic figures in the Korean drama world, while being the lead star in numerous big hit Korean dramas, as well as receiving numerous prestigious awards, there is no denying the fact that our very own Suki is a prominent and successful Korean actor. That's why in this video, we'll be looking at all of the Korean dramas, Lee Jong Suk has led on or featured on, from his debut to the present day. So sit back, relax, and make sure to watch this video up till the end, because I'm now going to show you all of Lee Jong Suk's Korean dramas. Early Career At the young age of 15, Lee Jong Suk began his modeling career at the 2005 Seoul Fashion Week, making him the youngest male model to debut in the popular Seoul Collection program. Since then, he has walked in numerous fashion shows. He also began his training as an idol group member, but he didn't pursue it because he wanted to become an actor rather than an idol. Eventually, he took part in a selection for actors at SBS TV station when he was in middle school. Until 2010, he made his official acting debut as a supporting cast in a South Korean TV series Prosecutor Princess. He had numerous features in several dramas afterwards, but there is one drama where he started to build up his acting career. Secret Garden This certified classic Korean drama is where you can see the first look of Lee Jong Suk's greatness. Being led by notable stars Yun Bin, Ha Ji Won, and Yoon Sang Yun, it is a fantasy romance story, about a rich department store CEO and a poor stunt woman, being able to switch bodies. In this drama, Jong Suk plays the role of a genius musician Han Tae Sun, who is secretly gay and has a forbidden love interest with his mentor Oska, being played by Yoon Sang Yun. Despite being a supporting cast, Lee Jong Suk still manages to become one of the most memorable characters in the series. Thus, earning him his first leading role. School 2013 This is Lee Jong Suk's first ever leading role in AK drama. Based on a popular anthology series, this drama is set in Sayangri High School, one of the lowest academically scoring schools in Seoul. Lee Jong Suk played the role of Go Nam Soon, a former delinquent who suddenly becomes the class president of his class. He is joined by notable acts Kim Woo Bin, Jang Na Ra, Choi Daniel, Park Se Young, and Kwak Young Wook. This first ever leading role of his earned him the Best New Actor Award in 2012 KBS Drama Awards. This paved the way for his rising popularity, and the rest will be history. I can hear your voice. This critically acclaimed 2012 Korean drama is where Lee Jong Suk started to gain a buzz. In this drama, Lee Jong Suk played the role of a high schooler Park Soo Ha. He has an ability to read people's minds, which he discovered when he witnessed the murder of his father in his childhood. He was paired with Lee Bo Young who plays the character of Jang Hai Sung, a bold public lawyer who worked on Soo Ha's father's case. Su Ha promised himself that he would keep Hai Sung safe from people threatening her life because of the case. The drama became one of the highest rated series in South Korea at the time, and earning Lee Jong Suk an excellence award at the Korea Drama Awards for his wonderful performance. Dr. Stranger 2014 is the year Lee Jong Suk is gaining mainstream popularity. In this hit medical drama, Lee Jong Suk becomes South Korea's top heart surgeon, Park Hoon, who is a defector from North Korea. Although he's good at his job, Park Hoon can't help but feel like an outcast. Park Hoon has a love interest with Song Jae-hee, being played by Jin se yeon He planned to flee North Korea with her but he failed. And when he slowly gained recognition as a doctor in South Korea, he promised himself to reunite with Jae-hee no matter what. His performance in the drama also made him a global star, as Doctor Stranger is also a huge hit in China and Hong Kong. Pinocchio 2014 doesn't end there for Lee Jong Suk, as he was casted again in another hit drama series Pinocchio. In this drama, he plays the role of a freshman reporter Choi Dal Po. Despite his hatred with the media industry, he still enters it to look for his lost brother and clear his family's name after an issue. He is paired with Park Shin Ye, who plays as Choi In Ha, a freshman reporter like him. However, she suffers from Pinocchio syndrome, a condition that gives her hiccups every time she lies. Because of this condition, she finds it hard working in an industry where lying is rampant, and at the same time, a necessity. This drama won the Most Outstanding Drama Award in Seoul International Drama Awards. And of course, numerous awards for Lee Jong Suk, including the Best Actor Award for 27th Gourmet Awards, making him the youngest actor to receive the said award. W. 
After his success with his last dramas, movies, and fan meetings, Lee Jong-suk returns for his new banger of the drama W, where he played as Kong Chol, an Olympic gold medalist who was falsely accused of murdering his whole family. Eventually, he's able to clean his name, and became the CEO of a TV channel network. After his interaction with Oh yeon Ju, who is played by Han hyo Ju, he found out that he lives in a webtoon world where he is a protagonist made by yeon Ju's father, who is a famous illustrator from the real world. And despite living in different dimensions, yeon Ju and Chol fall in love with each other. This drama eventually became Lee Jong-suk's most popular drama, topping popularity charts all over South Korea, and making Jong-suk win the grand prize award at the year-end MBC Drama Awards. While you were sleeping. Lee Jong-suk is back at it again for another drama in this 2017 thriller supernatural series. While You Were Sleeping is casted by big names Lee Jong-suk, Bae Suzy, and Jong Hae-in. Lee Jong-suk plays as a rookie prosecutor Jung Jae-chan, who has the ability to see the future through his dreams. He meets field reporter Nam Hong-ju and police officer Han Wu-tak, who also has the same abilities as him. As they find answers about their mysterious ability, they also use it to solve Jay Chan's cases, as well as to save people from danger. And most importantly, defeat the corrupt lawyer Lee Yu Bom, who is played by Lee Sang Yab. Romance is a bonus book. Lee Jong Suk's last K drama before he enlists for military service. Romance is a bonus book is a 2019 romance comedy Korean drama where Lee Jong Suk played as Cha Eun Ho, a young editor in chief in a publishing company, and is a very talented writer. One day, he meets Kong Dan Yi. Being played by Lee Na Young, was once a popular copywriter, but her life went upside down after an unfortunate circumstance. Being desperate to get a job, she lies about her background, and eventually gets a chance to work temporarily in Cha Eun Ho's publishing company, which also happens to be her childhood friend. Big Mouth After his military service enlistment, Lee Jong-suk returns to the small screen with his 2022 comeback drama Big Mouth, starring him and Im Yoon Ah. In this drama, he played as Park Chong Ho, a man referred to as Big Mouth since high school, because he talks big, but can't ever follow through. He eventually became a lawyer. Due to his very low success rate, he was hired by a mayor, who then framed him in an allegation that he was the notorious swindler named Big Mouse, and sent to prison. Yoon Ah, playing as Chong Ho's wife Go Mi Ho, hears about his imprisonment, and works hard to prove her husband's innocence. Which is your most favorite Lee Jong Suk drama? Comment it down below and let's talk about it. Did you enjoy this video? I'm sure you will also enjoy this video as well. Check it out now.